G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Mitchell Stark career mode in Dumb Rammer Cricket 17 and I know I haven't uploaded in like two weeks, probably more, uh, I think it's actually two weeks but it's just um, really it only comes down to, because um, I've just started the cricket season, I've played three games in my cricket season um, and I have cricket all day Saturday and the, really, the only day I have to record videos is on the Sunday um, and on the Sunday I just want to relax after a four day of cricket the day before but um, it's something I've got to adjust to, and uh, yeah, I really got to get uh, used to that. Um, but yeah, as you can see there, South Africa currently Temba Bavuma. That's the first thing that stands out. 95 not out, and then the second high score is Hashim Amla with 51 off 75. So he did pretty well, got his 50. Um, but as a whole, South Africa currently by 236 runs. They're six for 236, and Mitchell Stark currently has two for 25. So. Hopefully we can get those last four wickets very early and move on to our batting innings. But uh, yeah, let's jump into it and hopefully snag a few more wickets. Alrighty, so as I said at the start of the video, Temba Bavuma currently has 95. And let's hope we can get him out before that century. That'd be brilliant, but uh, let's go. I want to get a few more wickets very early, as I said. It's a nice little shot there for a single. Um, but yeah, I just... I don't want to let them get out to too big of a lead. Um, something like 350. Um, it's probably a, it's a big total. Um, I probably want to keep them under uh, 300 if we can, but uh, let's have to see how we go. That's a great delivery, and it's a dot. Oh, jeez. He's got, got very lucky there, Vernon Philander. He's uh, bottom edge of that, almost onto the wicket. So it's going to be canning in. Uh, it's going to can into off stump that one. Luckily got something on it. Oh, it's a pretty good shot. Shouldn't there be a single? And it is. <sighs> risky leave, Temba. Very risky. That's probably only about gee, 10, maybe 20 centimetres um, away from off stump. It's very risky leave, bloody, from Bavuma. That's uh, a good shot. It'll be a dot. And that ends the over. Just two off it. And that's a great way to start the episode. Oh, beautiful delivery. Um, it could have been easily um, like glanced away from Bavuma, but luckily he didn't do that. Um, it was a pretty good delivery in the end, but uh, two dots so far. Oh, that was middle stump. It's a great shot for Bavuma, and it might bring up his, his sentry. Will it get there? It will. There's his sentry, Tema Bavuma, it's a good innings, only off uh, 116 or maybe 117 deliveries, so he's done very well, and uh, congratulations to him. It's never nice to see a bloke get his sentry off your bowling, but uh, you got to get over it. Hopefully he can get his wicket now and make sure he doesn't get 150 or 200. Ooh, how's that one? Surely not straight away. Didn't think so, looked like um, legs, leg side-ish, and it's definitely not out. Won't review it because the confidence is very low. Oh, catch him! I think he's gone. Bavuma's out of there. That's a great edge. And it's gone straight to the keeper. He's gone for 100 right on the money. And, um, yeah. Bloody four, dot, and then wicket. Bloody hell. Ten Bavuma, it's unlucky for him, but we'll bloody take it. 150 clicks that delivery. It was a really good one. And, uh, yeah, he is gone. Surely wouldn't uh, review it. It was like a very thick edge. And there he goes. Off back to the pavilion. Pavilion, he goes, if I can spit out the bloody word. Um, but yeah, Kyle Abbott comes in. Shouldn't last too long with Philander. Um, so we're into the tail now, so hopefully we can knock him over relatively quickly. That's a pretty good shot from Abbott, just for a dot, and that ends the over. A wicket and only four of it, so a great over. Pretty good shot from Philander. Nice little cut shot for a single. And we've got Kyle Abbott on strike, which is what I want. Um, he's on zero off six delivery, so I want to keep him on the dark and uh, hopefully build pressure and eventually knock over that off stump if I can. Or maybe edge it, that'd be great. Another dot. Oh, I think he's got something on that. He hasn't carried, but uh, good um, keeping from Peter Neville. Um, he's done more to get over that, but there's definitely something on it. Uh, unluckily, didn't carry. Terrible delivery, but get a dot, so I'll take it. Oh, jeez, that was close. He's played that very late, Kyle Abbott, and it is just one off the over. So we've had three in this episode, and they've all been pretty good. Uh, the one the one over where we got uh, boundary, uh, we still got a wicket, so that rounded off pretty well. And we're still in. Any, no wickets yet. Kyle Abbott's off the mark, uh, finally. These two, I don't want them to build a partnership, because it's the last thing we need 
two tail enders to build a partnership. That's always just heartbreaking for your bowling. And uh, another dot, so that's a good one. Oh my god! He's, he's missed that completely. It's cut in and it's almost swung in as well. That was a brilliant delivery. One of the best I've seen in a while. And luckily for him, didn't bloody hit off stump. It's uh, very close. Another good one, another dot. Four so far in this over, and hopefully we can uh, round it off as a maiden. One delivery left as we come in now. Five dots. Let's hope it's six for a maiden. Oh, oh, it's a wicket maiden. I thought it was going over the fielding's head, but it definitely hasn't. Vernon Philander is out of there. Steve Smith, great catch it. I think it was cover. Um, usually he's up in the slips, Steve Smith, but he's good anywhere, so we'll take that catch. And I think that's our fourth wicket. Um, here it is here. Pretty good shot from Philander, I'll give him that. But he's gone straight to Steve Smith, right in the bread basket, and we get our fourth wicket. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I've, a five, uh, five wicket bag, maybe a six wicket bag, but a uh, bit of work to do left. Uh, Perry's on strike, hasn't faced a ball yet. Um, I'm going to try and give him a leg cutter. Might uh, pitch it outside off a bit and get it um, cutting in. Oh, it's done pretty well. He's done pretty well. He's got the single off the mark of the first ball. Oh, I think that's gone through his legs. Um, I wasn't sure which which way I uh, made it cut in, but um, yeah, it's just gone through his legs, and that's a weird one. I haven't seen that in DBC, um, which I don't think ever. Pretty good shot there from Abbott. He might get two. No, he won't. Didn't say that fieldsman. Just a single. Oh, it's a good shot from Perry. Went for the slow ball. Wasn't too much slow, but I guess 140 clicks for Stark. It almost is a slow ball, so um, yeah. Just three off this one so far. Two deliveries to come. Let's hope we can um, stay to three. Oh, catch him. I think he's got a nick on that. I'm pretty sure he has. There you go. We get our fifth wicket. We get the uh, the Fifa and raise the ball stuck. That's a brilliant uh, five-wicket bag. Let's hope we can make it six as well. But, uh, yeah, one wicket to go. And surely we wouldn't uh, review that pretty um, thick edge. I heard a lot of it. And he's out of there. Good catch again from Peter Neville. We have five wickets, and uh, yeah, as I said, hang on, who's this? Rory Kleinvelt, maybe? Um, but I definitely want six wickets. Let's hope and get it right here off the final delivery of the over. Catch him, it's a big shot. First ball, and he's just gone whack. It's almost going to go to the boundary. It is too. What a, what a shot to get off the mark, but uh, yeah, well under him, I suppose. It is seven off that one and a wicket, so a good over. Oh, there's another edge. I think he's edged it. Pretty sure. What's it hit? <laughs> there you go. There's another wicket. That's our sixth wicket, and that's South Africa's innings done for 257. That was a weird wicket. I definitely want to see the replay. That's a wicket maiden as well, so that's another brilliant over from Starkey. And what an innings. Six for, I think it's 30, uh, mid-30s, but uh, yeah, you're probably going to review it, isn't he? Because the last wicket, yeah, he is. I'm pretty sure it might have been his glove, because it sort of dipped up. It didn't look like it was a, an edge off the bat. <coughs> Legitimate delivery. We'll move on. I'm just going to go straight into it. Why is it going for LBW? I don't get that, but um, I'm pretty sure it's um, hit his bloody... I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's happening, because they're showing the LBW. Is it an LBW? I'm not even sure. And... What's... I'm going to check that wicket because I'm so confused right now. I thought it was an edge, but it might have come off his pad and looked like an edge. Um, yeah, LBW. There you go. So it must have come off his pad and then flew to the keeper when I thought it was an edge. But any, any wicket will count. But uh, yeah, what, what do we end up with? Six for 39. What a bloody uh, innings. The next best was James Faulkner with one for 16. And then Nathan Lyman with one for 49. Um, but geez, Brad Hogg. He was very expensive, one for 92 off 20 overs. Um, so hopefully he can patch that up a bit. Let's head into Australia's innings. Hopefully they can do much better than South Africa. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a bat, hitting a few runs. Here we go, we'll sim it. And pretty good start. Burns has gone for 44. Warner gone for 61. Kawadra had a bloody golden duck. Smith unlucky. James Falcon gets a century. Peter Neville gets a century. And I think we might, it might be in. But, uh, yeah, what a bloody innings. 8 for 463. Really good start. Well, really good innings, I should say. But here we go. 
We'll block that one out and move on to the next over, but quickly check our winnings and see how we went. I know there's a few, a couple of centuries. Um, David Warner went for 61. Joe Burns almost getting his 50. Steve Smith almost getting 100. Unlucky for him. Osman Kawaja with a golden duck. Bold R. Perry. Uh, James Falk, 123. And then Peter Neville, 116. So really good uh, all-round innings. Couple of blokes didn't go too well, but uh, yeah, we're in with Nathan Lyon at the moment. He's on 13 off 40, taking things a bit slow, but uh, any run counts, and it doesn't matter how quick you get them. Jeez, Rory bloody Kleinvelt, 0 for 132. I think I'm pronouncing that name right, but that is a brilliant shot from Starkey. It's going to be a boundary too. Is this Stark or Steve Smith? <laughs> bloody hell, but um, yeah, he's very expensive. I think that's how you pronounce his name. If any of you guys know in the comments, let me know, because... Kleinveld, this doesn't sound right. I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Another good shot from Starkey. Probably won't get to the boundary this time. Might get three if we're lucky. No, we'll stay with two. We'll stay on the uh, on the on, on strike if I can spit it out. Um, but yeah, couldn't believe this bowl. He's very expensive. You think he might get a wicket soon with that Stark in line on strike? But uh, yeah. Oh, brilliant shot, Starkey. That could be a boundary too. I think I might get there. Slow, very, eventually gets there. That's another boundary. Takes us to bloody 11 off 5. He's batting better than Joe Root in the uh, Joe Root career mode. So, um, yeah, might have to switch things up a bit. Oh, that's absolutely smashed off the bat. Unfortunately, it's straight to the fieldsman. And it is just, uh, what is it, 10 off that over. And, uh, yeah, pretty good one from Starkey. He's on strike again to Kyle Abbott. Two for 100. He's still expensive, but uh, he got a couple of wickets. Another good shot straight to the fieldsman. Oh, well timed from Stark. And I think it's going to be another boundary. That is just beautifully timed. And he is just going ham, isn't he? I'm not, like, slogging every ball. I'm just playing at the bad balls. And it's working very well so far. 15 off 10. Imagine getting a bloody 50 or 100 with Mitchell Stark. That would be one of the greatest achievements. Of DBC, there's another one there. Probably could have got a single, but uh, anyway. Good shot from Sark. Might even get three if it doesn't go to the rope. And I reckon we'll easily get three, maybe even run four. We could run four, a bit of a delay there. Oh, this is bad. Oh, <laughs> I went so silent because I thought I was gone. I shouldn't have run four. We get there in the end, so it's technically a boundary. Stark goes to 20. Big Nick, and it's not a, a wicket, luckily, just a single, so we'll move on. The left arm finger spinner comes on. We've got deep mid off and deep mid on. If they were up, I'd definitely have a crack at him, but it's uh, a bit risky, so we'll just stay within our limits uh, for the moment. Leave that one. I knew it was going to turn a lot because Gaz Lyon on this pitch usually turns a lot, so uh, I'd expect the same from other legs uh, off spinners, but um, yeah, I'm going to try and be careful with these ones. That's a that's a really good shot. If that goes, the, oh, that's uh, very lucky for the fieldsman. I thought I was going to go to the boundary, but that was a brilliant shot. I mean, is this Mitchell Stark or David Warner? Because like 23 off 17, I don't want to jinx it, but he is just going insanely good. I like him, like him a lot. That could be a catch. Bit lucky, but uh, yeah, we'll take it. We've got a big gap between cover and gully, so anything short and wide, that's where I want to target. But uh, yeah. They have been bowling a lot of short and wide deliveries, so I'm expecting a few more. That's a good shot, but straight to the fieldsman. We've played a lot of good cover drives. Unfortunately, they've just gone straight to the fieldsman. Um, so, yeah, a bit unlucky. We've got a fine leg out there. Uh, forward square leg, anything short and on the leg side. I'm probably going to try and play it um, over that fieldsman, but... Uh, just have to see how we go, won't we? Alright guys, when this over finishes, I'm going to end the episode. It's been a really good one. Hopefully we can uh, stay in. I'm probably going to block a lot of these deliveries because I want to stay in and maybe get a, a 50, a 100. It's really all on the table at the moment because Stark is just batting brilliantly. And I can't wait to come back next episode. Oh, it's a risky shot. Um, and hopefully get to the 50. Um, but it's a long way away. Got to make sure we stay within our limits. Don't play stupid shots. And we should be able to get there. Good shot from Stark. And we should get one. Yeah, we'll stick with one. Um, we've got Gaz on, on strike. Now I'm going to sim it. I'm not sure if we'll face any more on this over. 
and it doesn't look like we will. And uh, we're just going to end it here. I've simulated a bit. We'd, I should, probably should have watched those last two deliveries from Gaz. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's still in. Nathan Lyon, 20 off 76. And Mitchell Stark, 20 out of 25. What a brilliant episode. We racked up about four wickets, I think, in this one. And we got a few nice runs. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can convert that into a 50, maybe a 100. But uh, it'll be 8 for 499. Absolutely smashing that South Africa in this one. And we lead by 242. So I can't wait to come back in, uh, in the next episode and hopefully grab the 50. Um, but got a lot of work to do. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this one, guys, make sure to like and also subscribe to future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.